I'm uh, Kevin Reach, head football coach at Collins Hill High School. I've been at Collins Hill the last five years, and I feel like I'm in a great place with uh, with great support, great parents. And uh, you know, our motto this year is um, is to buy in. You know, we've uh, we've made the playoffs the last five years, and it just hasn't been good enough. I think uh, you know, just making the playoffs here in Gwinnett County. Um, you know, it's tough, especially in our region, but uh, right now it's not good enough. We, uh, we've kind of gotten together our senior bunch and, uh, you know, our motto is to buy in and, uh, you know, let's, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Um, our off season's been great. Uh, we started with our Dirty Dozen, our early morning workout uh, system in, uh, in the wintertime. And we ended up having over 100 kids uh, participate in that. Then uh, we went on to a spring practice, had a great spring practice, and uh, moved, in, moved into the summertime. During the summer, we went to uh, the Central One Ed Tournament. We've been to Auburn camp. We uh, did the um, Athens Christian camp, and also bringing our linemen with us. So it's just not about the seven on seven. It's uh, you know, kind of implementing our, our linemen into, uh, in, into the process this year. And uh, I feel like our kids are working uh, probably as hard as we've ever had since I've been here at Collins Hill. And uh, I know that what, what they're looking for is, is a little more than what we've done in the last few years. Uh, getting into our, our, our kids, we've got, a, uh, we've got 37 seniors. I think that's the most uh, since I've been here. We've got a, uh, a senior offensive line, starting with our center. Uh, Frankie Filto, he, uh, he was a starter for us last year on the defensive side. We got Ben Yarn, who was a defensive end for us. We've actually moved him to uh, offensive guard. Uh, we've got Devin Hicks, who's another senior. Uh, we've got Christian Harris, who's uh, you know one of the most talented um, offensive linemen in the state right now. I think he had over 25 offers, and uh, he has committed to Duke. And uh, right now, Christian's the kind of kid that's probably going to be on the field most of, uh, most of the game, going both ways offensively and defensively. At uh, right tackle, we have uh, Shahed Nurali. He, uh, he started some games for us last year, and uh, I feel like he has really pushed himself and has got a chance to, uh, to really help us out this year. Uh, Chase Seymour will be playing tight end when we're in our tight end set. Our, our, our receivers, they're, they're all seniors too. I was going through this and looking at our, our uh, makeup and I think we've got a couple backups that are sophomores and juniors, but for the most part, we're gonna be a heavy senior group. Um, you know, we got Ryan England, who's a two, two way starter. He's been a starter for three years. He, um, he's gonna help us out there wide out. We got uh, Quentin Jones, who has been offered by uh, Austin P is a um, does kickoff pump returns and he's the kind of kid that's going to be out there a lot and uh, you know we've got um, Tyler Henderson who's our, our running back he's been a three-year starter and um, you know to this day he's the fastest kid that I've, I've coached in my 24 years so we're going to try to get the ball in his hands as much as possible and uh, we can also move them all over the field we can put them out there at, at uh, Z, run him across, put him in A, put him in B, and just you know kind of get him in open space. But uh, we're excited about him. And uh, Tyler's actually had um, three offers now. I think he's had four offers. I'll let him talk about that. But uh, you know he's um, he's a good football player for us. Um, going to the defensive side, our defense. Um, I believe our strengths right now are going to be our offensive defensive line. Our defensive line. Is uh, got Miles Fox, who is um, a two-year starter. He'll be a junior. We're going to move him at nose and play him some of our four-eye technique. Um, we got uh, um, a, a couple of other experienced guys, Chris McFarland, who's a senior. We um, we're going to have uh, Christian. We'll also be playing that that uh, four technique for us, um, and we've got probably five or six guys that can play that defensive line, a couple young guys, Damon Fox, and uh, we'll also move Ben Yarn over and let him play some of that defensive end and nose for us. So I feel pretty good about where our offense and defensive line is. Um, we got two seniors that are inside backers. 
that uh, you know we're excited about. Um, you know, Joseph Park, who started for us last year, he, he suffered an injury, and um, you know he he was out for a little while, but. Uh, we're excited about him this year. Um, we've got um, JT Thomas, who will be a, our outside linebacker. We still have a battle going on with a couple seniors at, as our other inside linebacker, but JT Thomas will be uh, a two-year starter at outside linebacker. And we've got Robert Schneider, who's a sophomore. He's one of the most talented sophomores we've had. We sat there and looked at it during the springtime. We've got to get this kid on the field somewhere, and he kind of worked himself into uh, that starting role at, at our outside linebacker. Um, defensive secondary, I feel like that's gonna be a, a, a good group, probably better than what we've had the last couple of years. That'll be headed up by uh, Quentin Jones, um, Ari Benoit, and uh, Ryan England. Those three will, um, you know, are, are returning starters back there in the secondary. I think Ryan's the kind of kid that uh, that makes big plays and uh, you know kind of gets the defense going, and, and I'm kind of looking for him to be that that captain back there in the secondary. But um, you know the one thing we've got to replace right now, I feel like our kicking game is uh, is something we need to work on. We had Mitchell Blanchard, who was a three-year starter, he was an All-State punter for us, and it's nice when you got a punter and a kicker, you know, all in one. You don't have to worry about it. But uh, for the first time in in three years, we got to worry about. Uh, you know, our, our kicking game. We got two or three guys that, that we're working at that right now, but, uh, you know, we still haven't come up with somebody. We feel like either Robert Snyder or Chase Seymour will be our punters. But I, I do want to tip my hat out to the to the senior bunch. I feel like they're uh, they're working hard. They're kind of morale, uh, corralling around our quarterback. Our quarterback this year is um, going to be Tyler Herman. He um, is being pushed by... Um, you know, another senior, um, but he's kind of stepped in front. Tyler's kind of stepped in front and kind of taken that role as a starting quarterback. And uh, if we can kind of corral around him, I, I feel like we have a chance to have a really good season this year offensively. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over right now, let uh, Christian talk about, um, you know, what he's had going on. He's, he is, um, he's had so many offers here just since he has signed with Duke. And I'm talking about you know some big time offers, Miami and, and some other schools, but um, you know I feel like Duke is is a place that's going to be a, a good fit for for Christian. And and uh, you know when I asked him earlier, you know what would be your dream place to go? Uh, I know that uh, Duke was one of those uh, schools, so I'm kind of happy for him on that. But I'm going to let Christian talk to you a little bit. Uh, Christian Harris, offensive tackle and defensive end. Um, you know, just what Coach Reed said, you know, I've recently committed to Duke and everything, and, you know, that's great, and all my family and I, we're uh, blessed and grateful to have that. But right now, you know, we're just worried about, um, you know, console football and, you know, getting the season started. And, you know, just piggybacking off of what Coach Reed said, we are a heavy senior bunch. Uh, we lost a lot of seniors last year, so, you know, those rising kids that we've got, um, you know, a lot of seniors, uh, a lot of leaders out there. but. You know, it's not about just putting seniors on the field. You know, we have underclassmen and everything, you know, pushing us. And we're going to play uh, the, ble the best players that we have. And I feel like we have the personnel and the potential to be just as great as we want to be, you know, as long as we push ourselves and work and, you know, just we'll see how things uh, turn out. I'm going to go ahead and let uh, Tyler talk. Uh, Tyler has, uh, he's been offered by uh, Old Dominion. And as you know, Old Dominion, we've, we've got three boys up there right now, and uh, it's been been a good, uh, I guess, pipeline from uh, Collins Hill to, to Old Dominion. And uh, Old, Old Dominion came down and has offered uh, Tyler. He's also had an offer from uh, Air Force, Buffalo, and what's the other? And Holy Cross. So uh, um, you know, Tyler does a great job in the classroom. Also, he is another. Him and Christian will both be guys that, that I'll lean uh, heavy on about being our team leaders this year. But, uh, you know, high character kid, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure he's going to have a great future. But I want to go ahead and talk. Hey, I'm uh, Tyler Henderson from the running back here at Collins Hill. And, uh, like Coach said, we've been working our butts off since uh, the season, season ended with a disappointing loss to uh, West Forsyth. 
We're coming back extra hungry this year. I know uh, as an offensive guy, we've been uh, working extra hard because we're a spread offense. We got up tempo, we got to be in the best shape, and we're playing some of the most athletic kids. And uh, our defense, they're working their uh, butts off too, getting in best shape because they got to they gotta chase around all these athletic kids for, uh, every Friday night. And um, all these offers and all, they're nice, but I'm just worried right now, playing the best I can for my team, trying to, trying to do better than getting out the first round of the playoffs every year. I know uh, that's really, it's really been disappointing these past couple years. Uh, we know we can do better than that. And, uh, we, we, we hopefully will uh, not disappoint this year. I know uh, I'm super excited about my linemen. We got Christian, the big anchor on the left side. And like Coach said, we got some defensive guys coming over that are real big bodies. And uh, I'm, I'm super excited about them and my quarterback as well. But thank you. Question. Any questions? You mentioned you know, about uh but your new quarterback here, Tyler Herman. Uh, it's going to be a little different. He's probably got less experience than the guys you have. Again, it's you've been used to having a very experienced quarterback for the, for the last several years, particularly in your offense. That's important. How important is it uh, for him to get off to a good start and, and to kind of get him into to a rhythm? Uh, it, it's important. I, you know, we've been pretty we've been pretty blessed. We we had uh, Michael Box who signed with UConn, and, and then of course. Taylor Heineke, who's, you know, set all the records up at Old Dominion, and uh, Brett Sheehan, who, who signed with South Alabama. You know, we've been, we've been pretty uh, fortunate with the quarterbacks we've had. And uh, Tyler came in from Burkholz High School in uh, Gainesville, Florida. He, he actually grew up in the, in the Collins Hill um, area, and he's actually a triplet. He's one of three. He's got two brothers who uh, play receiver for us. And, uh, you know, Tyler's got good size. He's 6'3", 210. And uh, our, our quarterback from last year, Brett Sheehan, went down in the uh, North Gwinnett game and ended up hurting his ankle. And, and uh, Tyler came in and, and finished out the season. So he's got some playing experience. He played JV, but he, he uh, played against Mill Creek, played against Duluth, and finished out the game against North Gwinnett. So he's got some good experience. And uh, from where he's at now to where he was last year, I mean, he has made a complete overhaul. But, um, but it is important. You know, your trigger man, the guy that's going to be running the offense, especially in our offense, you know, we're, we're going to have to, uh, we're gonna have to have some good play from him. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's early. We, we play two non-region games, um, you know, against Decula. And, uh, and and Central Gwinnett, yeah, they're important games. We want to do well, but we just want to get better as, as the season goes on. And uh, I wanted to come off and, and get a good start, but I wanted to actually peak towards the end of the season. I just wanted to continue to get better uh, each week and, uh, you know, just kind of gain that confidence. But, uh, you know, we've, uh, we're going to put a, lot, put a lot on the show just because that's the kind of offense we have. And we do need to, uh, you know, kind of ride his coattail a little bit. Any other questions?